Hello everyone. So we have a clock here, um, already removed the dial as you can see. Um, and it came in um, because one of the ratchets isn't doing anything, like um, it's the one here on the left. Um, and I can just move it in both directions. Which is not how it's supposed to work. Normally it should block in one direction and you should be able to pull it in the other direction. Um, oops. That was the gun. So yeah, I, I can just um, move it around freely. Um, so yeah, I'm going to break the chains and then uh, get it out of here. And then we'll see what's going on with it. So, I got the movement out of the case, um, just standard, um, rest missed the movement, nothing too special about it, um, this is, um, an FHS movement, you see them pretty common, uh, it's always nice, um, here down here, the length of the pendulum is mentioned, that's always nice to see um, because it's handy um, if at one point the pendulum gets lost. I also can see that this movement was a service in the past because here, here, there, like here, we can see there are bushings in place. Um, but yeah, what was the main problem was that um, this side. Um, here, that the ratchet mechanism was not working at all. And if you can see here, just quickly take something. Um, here you can see that the click spring is under the ratchet. So this is what um, normally pushed against. There's the teeth here. I don't know, I can't really see them now. Well. Uh, but I can show you how it's supposed to look like. So it is supposed to look like this. So here the brass piece is attached itself, and the click spring is resting against it. And here it is, the other way around. The click spring is underneath it. So yeah, that's what um, what we're going to do. I'm going to open it up. Get the ratchet out, get um, this thing loose here, that clips there, and then, um, yeah, we'll put it back into place. And that's probably going to be it for the repair. Um, um, after that, if the ratchet works again, I'm going to clean the movement and just um, give it some new oil and grease here and there, so that the client is good for not a few years. But yeah, first repair of the ratchet. See you then. So I got it out. Um, I removed this clips here that was holding everything in place. So this is a a, a spring. Um, they give some tension. Uh, like basically pushes this down onto the ratchet. We have this part of the ratchet assembly here. We have the ratchet and. Uh, now you can see it's going to the spring here is going to break any second now. Yeah, <laughs> it is broken. So um, that was the reason why something was up in the first place. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to have to make a new one then. Oh, interesting. But well, let's first get um that one out. So, luckily, I still have all the pieces. Come on, come on. So. Sorry for that. <laughs> 
Let's try that again. <laughs> It's really brittle, like it is completely falling apart. Okay, that's one piece off, and the other piece off. Okay, now I'm going to um, hammer those out with a punch. Um, but yeah, I'm going to set up um, and I'm going to show you how I will be making. A new spring for this. <laughs> so I got um, these two little bits out and then I went looking um, to my box of old used um, like mainsprings. This is probably a mainspring from an alarm clock or a small clock and this is going to be um, my base material um, where I'm going to make um, the new spring from the new click spring from so I'm going to find out rough dimensions. I'm going to cut this piece of that um, spring, and then yeah, we'll go from there. So yeah, I cut out the rough shape and I made some marks. So I'm going to have a tin piece here, um, and then with a rough shape, I'm going to have a bit of a thicker piece here. For the two um, hints that go uh, inside, which I'm going to do later, but for now, um, I just need to do the rough shape. So, let's put it in the face. I'm now using um, like a micro dremel with um, a diamond cutting disc. So yeah, let's gently start cutting. And it seems like my microdermal died on me. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> And we are back. It just got unplugged. <laughs> just a little bit more. Now I'm going to move it a bit to make the cut in the other direction. Yep, and there goes my piece. Yeah, blah. So now we have a very rough shape. So now we need to do I cut a bit of this off, this side off, and then I need to have the two pins. So um how am I going to clamp this? I guess I'm gonna have to do it like this. Um yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it like this, so I can still see the line myself. Ooh. No, that doesn't work. Maybe clamping it a bit harder.
There we are. Now we have the rough sheep. Now let's fine tune that a bit and do this to notches. So now, where do these two notches have to go? So they have to go about down. Let's just mark that real quick. So I have something to go. So now let's see how far am I off. So this one is pretty good. This one needs to go like a bit a bit off on each side. <laughs> Okay, almost there. So, okay, my camera died mid of um, fine tuning the two notches, but I am here now. Um, I've done my fine tuning them. Um, it fits now. It stays in place, which is important. Uh, there's only one problem. It's still a bit too long, so I'm going to cut a little piece of the end, and then I'm going to switch over to um, one of those polishing oils and polish it a bit, and then uh, repair done, I think. <laughs> So here we have the new spring. I need to bend it a bit. Well, I'm going to do gradual bends um, because if you do full bends, like a, then a tight bend, you might come into trouble. Um, but yeah, before I polish it, um, let's see how it works. Wait. Mounted. Yeah, I need to bend it a little bit. That's fine. It's 
still not doing it too well. Let's bend it a little bit more. So, my camera died, but you didn't miss much. Um, so, I ended up figuring it out. Um, so, during the fine tuning, I was like, well, why? Why is this working? And so, the reason was that I was confused was is because I looked at one of the other ratchets, and there the spring was um, hitting it. Yeah, I'm pushing this like this. So I don't like, yeah, this this is how it needs to be. But then while I was trying to figure it out, I was like, well, but this can never work because this is the part that needs to push against the ratchet wheel. Um, so then I tried shortening it again. And I was like, well, maybe this is just another one. Like, this is just made differently. And yeah, it ends up being differently. So here the spring needs to push here instead of here. And I was thinking like, why would they make a difference? But then I realized, and this is something some of you might know, that um, on a Westminster clock, which is, this is a Westminster clock, some weights are heavier. Um, so the weight that runs the melody roll is often heavier. So they might have had a problem at one point at a factory where these switches were not um, working for the melody roll. And that was the one I was looking on because that's the one on the other side um, that I could easily see without having to dis disassemble the whole clock already. Um, so yeah, um, that's how um, how I figured it out. and. It is working now. So I'm going to put this back together. I'm going to clean the clock, put some new oil, some new grease where it's needed, and then I'll probably show you the clock working at the end. Um, we'll see. So yeah, that's one job done already. If there's something else about the clock, you'll probably see it in another video. <laughs> we'll see.